Yo, Aguan, we're back with another video for your head tops. Yesterday was a good day for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. We got a full character roster reveal, including the pre-order character, and I did a video breaking down all the V-Jump scans from the starting booklet. But we also got some new gameplay which I can show you today and there was a few things I picked up on that some people may have missed that I want to cover in today's video. One of the main characters we'll look at today is UI Goku because he has some interesting mechanics but that's not all. We got a bag of information about character customizations and all the maps that will be featured in the game. We also managed to hit 15k subs on the channel yesterday so big up everyone who's been subscribing. I will be giving away a copy of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero in one of my live streams close to the game's release so make sure you smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss it enough waffling let's get into the action firstly a big shout out to gaming trend for most of this gameplay that you're gonna see today make sure you check them out a link to their channel will be in the description below so first of all we'll have a look at ui goku's moveset and then we can get into a few of the key things that some people may have missed in yesterday's reveals when ui goku's in his ultra instinct sign form he has a move called even greater potential which gives him full key and takes two blast stocks. This is good if you want to abuse his unique dodge mechanic because it drains his meter quite a bit. The other circle move Goku has is called You'll Never Beat Me, which puts him straight into sparking mode and this takes three blast stocks from him. He also has a standard beam called Kamehameha Sign, which can be charged, and Flash Shine, which is his rush attack. His ultimate attack is point blank Kamehameha, which we can see right here. Ultra Instinct Goku on the other hand has ultra movement and no backing down. We haven't got to see ultra movement in action but when he uses no backing down it puts him into sparking mode and gives him some buffs which we can see right here. He also has ultra Kamehameha and ultra barrage as his main damage dealing attacks. For his ultimate, he has Supreme Kamehameha, and this just looks crazy. Just look at it right here. So like I mentioned earlier, UI Goku has a unique mechanic in Sparking Zero, which we've only seen two characters use so far, and that is the auto dodge technique. It looks like he can dodge key blasts as well as physical attacks. The cost of using this unique technique is that it drains your key meter, so that's why those two moves I mentioned earlier for Ultra Instinct Sign Goku will come in handy, because you get full meter or you get put into sparking mode. The only other character we've seen with this ability is Whis, and he's bobbing and weaving like he's in the Matrix. From this clip here, if you're wondering why Weezy's key isn't going down, it's because he's fighting in training mode and probably has unlimited key toggled on. But it is good to know that Weez has this mechanic as well. Now that we've gone over the moveset of UI Goku, here's a few things that you might have missed from yesterday's reveals. When I played the demo, there was only two button schemes available, Classic and Standard. Classic played a lot more like the old Tenkaichi games and Standard was a bit more modern controls like Raging Blast, but it did include some of the newer mechanics from the game like Perception and Revenge Counter. Yesterday, thanks to Globku, we found out that the buttons are fully customizable so you can make up your own control scheme if you want to which is great because me personally i wanted to use classic but i didn't want to spin the analog stick when i clashed with opponents because ps5 controllers are mad expensive bruv but it looks like we can mix and match for the best of both worlds we also got confirmation that the game will come with 12 maps as standard and a few of the maps have their own variations to the stage we can see here there's like day night and evening cycles or for the world tournament mode you can have an option to toggle the crowd off we have also seen a glimpse of some of the characters running around on maps when there's no 
flight enabled. So that's another thing that I picked up on. If you like customization, each character has different costumes and accessories they can add to them to make their appearance different or their skills and attributes change. Speaking of appearance changes, did you know that the character Freezer Soldier is not just that one blue guy, but he has interchangeable skins, making him one of many Freezer Soldiers in the game. And this could be pretty good for having generic villains in custom battle. One other key thing that I picked up on yesterday is that each character has emotes available to them, which includes voice lines, so you can actually emote on your opponent after you give them a nasty vanish mix up, or knock them back. We can see UI Goku do an emote right here as well as Gogeta SSJ4 doing one. Each character has an emote wheel and you can equip up to four emotes on it. So if you're going to be styling on your opponents, let me know in the comments below. One other cool thing I noticed in yesterday's reveals is that non-playable characters like Dende can be used for cutscenes in custom battles. So just because the character isn't playable doesn't mean they don't have an in-game model that you can use for custom battle, which makes this mode just that much better for story development. If you didn't know about Goku Daima, he is the pre-order character. Most people know this, but we also managed to get a sneak peek at his in-game model, which some of you guys may not have seen. So here's a first look at Daima Goku in a screenshot if you haven't seen it already. Man, there's like three mini Gokus in this game. I wonder if we're gonna get a Daima Vegeta as DLC at some point. And my theory is that because Supreme Kai isn't in the base roster, we'll probably end up seeing his Dragon Ball Daima version as DLC at a later date. I'll look at doing more character overviews for other characters so if you made it this far into the video leave a comment below and let me know which characters you want to see next. I've been doing live streams on the channel reacting to all the new Sparking Zero gameplay and playing old Dragon Ball games on a weekly basis so if you want to see those make sure you smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss it. I did get a chance to play the earlier build of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero so there's tons of gameplay on the channel so if you want more Sparking Zero action then check out these videos right here.